Vincent van Gogh is undoubtedly one of the best artists of all time. Even till this day, he still inspires many people around the world and will continue to do so for a long time. And today, as you have already read by the title, I am going to recreate one of his artworks in Blender 3D just to show my love for him, for his art and to thank him for all he's given to the art community. And before I start the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming videos, it will really mean a lot. And with that being said, let's begin the video. So the main elements in this painting are the bed, the chairs, the table and the paintings hanging on the wall. So first I started off by modeling the bed, it wasn't anything special, I just used a cube, duplicated it, scaled it down, applied a subdivision modifier to create the mattress and used some more cubes to create the legs or whatever you call them of the bed. So for the chairs it was the same thing, nothing too complex, just created some more cubes, added some locusts to them and bended them using proportional editing. And then to create the walls of the room, I added a new cube, changed up the dimensions a little bit, placed everything inside it and started lining up the objects according to the reference image. Then I also created the table using the same tricks as before, just added a cube, extruded it multiple times to create the legs and the lower portion. And I also changed up the focal length of the camera to 28mm to get a more suitable perspective. I also created the window by adding some lookers to the cube and deleting the center face. I then added a solidify modifier to the cube to give it some more thickness. And then I added a sky texture just to see what the lighting will look like and for a scene like this make sure you are always switch to cycles under engine because it is definitely more realistic. And then I added some more cubes just to create the doors, inserted the faces in, extruded them out, scaled them down just to create some more details and I also created the sidings for the doors. So then I downloaded a wooden texture and a wall texture from polyheaven.com and applied it to the room and also added a small amount of bump to it. After applying the textures, I adjusted the UVs to get the correct scale. And for the paintings hanging on the walls, I downloaded some frames from Megascans library and duplicated them and applied them to the walls of the room. For the frame on the left of the window, I made that a mirror by applying a glass modifier and reducing its roughness. And then I noticed that the assets were way too close to the camera so I grabbed all the assets and moved them back a little bit. And at this point, I don't really know what went through my head, I thought it was a good idea to add ambient occlusion to all the nodes present in the scene, which I later found out that it was a bad idea as the denoiser couldn't denoise the textures in the final render. So yeah, I would suggest that you don't do that, especially if you have an ambient occlusion node connected to your PBR set. For the chairs, the bed and the sidings, I used some wooden texture from polyheaven.com and for the mattress of the bed, I also used this fabric texture as it wasn't really that visible. And then for the wine bottles and the jug lying on the table there, I just grabbed some 3D models from Quixel Bridge and placed them there. And I also created the glass and that other thing, I don't really know what that is, I just saw that in a lot of reference images. I just created what I thought looked right and placed it there. For the doors, I tried applying the same siding material to them but that didn't really work so I replaced it with another wooden texture and changed its color to green. And while I was there, I also added a bevel to everything. And 
and then for the window panels i just created a cube inserted the faces in extruded them in duplicated them along the z axis and then copied them and rotated them to the other side as well And now this is an important part, if you try to rotate the windows you will see that it rotates around its middle point. So that means if each time you try to rotate it you will have to relocate it to get the correct position. But to rotate them more accurately we can set the origin point of the window to the part that connects them to the walls. To do that just select the 3D cursor, place them where you want the origin point to be, select your windows, go to object, set origin, set origin to 3D cursor. And now if you rotate the windows it will move much accurately just like a window would. And I also added some more details to the window panel as well. After creating the windows, I selected the middle faces and applied a glass material to them. I later found out that a principal BSDF works much better than a glass material because it allows light to pass through the glass just like it would in real life. And now it was time to add the pillows on the bed. So for the pillows, I just downloaded the 3D model, duplicated it, changed up the shape a little bit using proportional editing and placed it on the bed. I also added some paintings in the frames using an image texture connected to a bump map. Now to create the blanket on the mattress, I just created a plane, subdivided it a bunch of times and applied a cloth simulation to it. And also added a solidify modifier to give it some more thickness, as without it, it just looked like a thin bed sheet. And after creating the blanket, I added some more details by using the sculpt tool. And for the blanket material, I just used the same fabric material and changed its color to red. And also the view outside the window was quite empty, so to fill that, I just used a tree model and placed it outside the window. I also added a subdivision modifier to the upper part of the chair and also changed up the aspect ratio. And then I modeled the hook on the right side of the door and to create the cloth hanging on the hook, I used a cloth simulation and instead of using the hook as the collider, I just created a weight paint mask to tell Blender which part of the cloth should be simulated and which part should not be. I duplicated the hooks and placed them on their wooden thing behind the bed and I also downloaded some 3D assets of jackets which I had to clean up myself and place them on the hooks. I also used a hat 3D model and hung it on the hooks as well. And I also added a fabric texture to the cloth and a metallic texture to the hooks as well. And at this point the scene was almost finished, I made some minor changes here and there, you know just playing around with lighting, assets, placements and volumetrics just to get everything right and after that I rendered the frame and imported it into Photoshop. And this was the final result, personally I'm really happy with how it turned out, it's obviously one of my favorite artworks yet. If you guys like it, make sure to leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments. And if you liked my content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and also turn on the notifications. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.